morning students i am here again with a new video on your safal exam preparation your safal exam is on 8th february and before that i hope you all have given a mock test of safal examination in that we have seen that questions were based on paragraph hindi in mainly hindi and english you will get questions based on paragraph but in other subjects you will get you will get questions according to your subjects like in maths you will get some solving questions and in science uh, you can get uh, questions based on case studies but the questions uh, means you will not get the answers directly from the case study so here i am not giving you case studies or paragraphs but i am generally i am trying to give you questions which can be made from the paragraphs or these types of questions you will uh, i hope you will get in your examination so i uh, i am bringing some different types of questions today and i'm try i'm starting from the chapter 1 again so please read out all these questions carefully these are the simple ones because you also got simple questions in uh, your mock test so that i tried to bring that type of questions for the subject science so just i'm trying uh, i'm starting question 1 soya bean which is generally sown from june to september is an example of which type of crop now you are seeing the months june to september and we have seen the crops which we grow in the month of june to september these types of crops we called as kharif crops there are two types of crops kharif and rabi crops rabi crops are generally winter crops and kharif crops are summer crops so soya bean comes under kharif crops so answer for of the first question will be option a next question which of the following mentioned crop is included in the category of rabi crop now again the winter crop you have seen which crop comes under rabi crop so we will say it is mustard answer d question third which among the following factors or conditions does not affect the crop production you all know crop crop production is generally depend upon temperature humidity and rainfall so the factor which is not responsible here is literacy but uh, uh, according to these options it is literacy but indirectly literacy also affecting the crop production because the more we are literate the more advanced technology we will know and we will implement that technology in our agriculture so indirectly it is also affecting but according to these uh, direct uh, here it is asked that which are affecting directly so answer will be option c which of the following organism is widely known as the friends of farmers so friends of farmers is earthworm earthworm <clears throat> stays in the soil and it continuously move in the soil so it makes the soil aerated and help the soils to absorb water and nutrients properly <clears throat> answer fifth question fifth the process of loosening and turning of the soil is commonly termed as is commonly termed as ploughing ploughing is what we are um, making the soil loose for our cultivations question sixth why is manure sometimes added to the soil before the process of tilling like if we before the process of tilling we add manure so that when we do tilling that manure is properly mixed in the soil so the answer of this question will be option a 
Question 7. Which one of the following equipment is not used for the purpose of tilling of the soil? For the tilling what we use? We use plow, we use hoe, we use cultivator and we are not using hammer because hammer we use for some other purpose. Question 8. Dash is used to sow seeds uniformly at equal distance and depth. If we want to sow seeds equal at equal distances, then what we use these days, we use <coughs> seed drill. Question 9. What is the most important thing to be done before sowing of the seeds? Before the sowing of the seeds, we have to do so many things like we have to prepare, we have to select the seeds which are not damaged from the insects and we have to carefully find out the field. So, so many factors we have to take in mind but here according to these options, what we have to do, first we have to do tilling of the soil. Question 10. Organic substance obtained from the decomposition of plants and animals waste that help in the healthy growth of the plant. This is an organic substance they are asking. Organ, there are two types of substances, organic and inorganic. Inorganic we generally includes the way uh, plants or the living things. And so here it is asked that uh, the waste which we are getting from the organic substance, it is manure. And other thing, uh, the inorganic substance, in inorganic substance, fertilizers and pesticides and insecticides comes. So here it is asked the <clears throat> organic substance, which is made from the decomposition of plants and animals, that is manure. Question 11. Excessive use of fertilizers is generally observed too. If we use excess amount of fertilizers in the soil, then what will happen? Uh, it will increase, it will decrease the fertility of the soils because these soil, these fertilizers are generally non-biodegradable. So they increase the amount of salt in the soil and due to that, the fertility of the soil will be decreased. So the answer of 11th question will be option A. Question 12. Which of the following nitrogen fixing bacteria is present in the root nodules of leguminous plants? What do you understand by the leguminous plants? Leguminous plants are generally those plants which are having a bacteria in their roots. And these bacteria fix the atmospheric nitrogen because we cannot take, we cannot intake directly nitrogen from the atmosphere. So there are some bacteria which stays or which live in the symbiotic relationship with the roots of the leguminous plants, with the roots of these plants. So that's why we call these, these plants as leguminous plants. So the bacteria which stay with it with leguminous plants is generally rhizobium bacteria. So you all should remember its name. It is rhizobium bacteria. Question 13. <clears throat> we, are general, we are having only 15 questions in this period. Um, question 13. Which of the following is not an example of source of irrigation? Irrigation is the process in which we water our crop. We give water to our crop. It's a watering of the crop is known as irrigation. So in irrigation, uh, we do irrigation with the help of well, with the help of canals, canal and dams. Forests are not included in it. So the answer of this question is option B. Which one of the following example is a traditional method of Irrigation. In your chapter, first chapter, you all have studied the methods of irrigation and uh, there are some new methods like uh, sprinkler, drip irrigation. Oh, these all are, these are new methods of irrigation. Dekli, Dekli is a traditional way of irrigation. Question 15. 
is the last question of this video. The da dash is used in uneven land where sufficient water is not available and has a rotating nozzle. So you know the method in which rotating nozzle is present. It is sprinkler system and this system helps in saving the water where there is a deficiency in deficiency of water for irrigations. So it, and it also helps in irrigating uneven land. Okay, so now that's all for today. Uh, all of you, please uh, focus all these questions carefully. And till I'll try to give you some more questions of other chapters also. So till then, bye. And please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you all of you.